Hello everyone, let's get started. Three topics in the video today. Um, stuff I wanted to talk about, to discuss in the last live stream which didn't work out. I hope until next Tuesday again I can get this live streaming issue solved. Topic number one. There was a follower of mine, I think it was even during the live stream on Tuesday, he asked me to check the Ripple tech topology. I did and I didn't find anything un, in, un uh, let's say, not uninteresting, but uh, new on that, besides the fact that most nodes are now on 1.2 or higher uh, rippled version. However, today, unfortunately, I cannot find that tweet. But I found, I came across a tweet where a guy basically stated that in the past few days many many new validators popped up worldwide like the system is now getting even more big I really hope someone some of my followers can um, comment on that then <clears throat> topic number two a guy wanted to discuss the tip bot uh, technology. He, I'm not sure if he thinks or if it's actually a fact if Tip Vice Wind is actually pursuing a banking license. The tip bot could be very well be used for donations. Let's say when I don't know an earthquake is happening and in, within a country or, or across countries, um, money is being donated. That this could be done via Tip bot. I I think that's a very good use case actually. However, I don't think it'll require a banking license at all. I don't think so. Because here in Switzerland, the donations we do usually on, on organizations, it's not organizations with banking licenses. It's usually uh, organizations uh, which help people or areas nature in certain uh, ways and then the third topic and I have been uh, approached by several people about WeChain and other other blockchains and what I think about it and basically it goes back to one of my first videos I have made about blockchain in general and I want to clear up some confusion around that again. Blockchain doesn't mean cryptocurrency. A cryptocurrency or a digital asset however is on blockchain or distributed ledger technology such as XRP okay now there are use cases where I think um, the blockchain or distributed ledger technology makes total sense but I wouldn't pay for it I just would take it for granted let's assume the Swiss government had a blockchain which tracks all my educational records, all my diplomas and everything. And when I basically apply for a job, I could simply give the, the HR department for that company access rights to my, to my blockchain entry with all my educational records and that's it. But would I pay for that? Would there be the need for a digital asset for a cryptocurrency no really no however I see many of such uh, ideas as valid and, and very potential I have high potential another idea of such a tracking system I think it even exists today is uh, the tracking of diamonds so when so each diamond has kind of like a fingerprint somehow I don't know how it works 
and as soon as they're like harvested from the from the ground they're put into this uh, blockchain and then they can be tracked until the until the, the diamond is coming into into some uh, jewelry and is being sold and and the nice thing is within that blockchain the jewelry the person the jeweler i don't know how it's how the profession is called for that person who makes the jewelry he could even track within that blockchain to whom he sold his ring or whatever necklace now when this jewelry is being stolen from that person and re and pops up later on in another part of the world one could actually track to whom that was sold initially and, and, and when it was stolen okay so such things such use case I deem highly important but I I do I wouldn't pay for it I think that's kind of a minimum requirement in such an industry where so much money is involved Another example could be in Switzerland, and I'm pretty sure, I think in an in eastern country which used to be part of Russia, I don't know, I don't, Lithuania maybe, I don't remember. Um, anyway, country from very up north, they started tracking property and in Switzerland we have that as well we have the so-called Grundbuchamt which keeps track of each piece of land whom is the owner and and if the if and the, the, the kind of the property if it's agriculture if it's industry if it's uh, for habitation as for for to, to live to build a house on and if there is a house on that property something like that is also a really good use case for a blockchain but I wouldn't pay anything for it I just think that's something the industry has to offer as a standard okay so all those those blockchains which try to check I don't know food stuff or, or any other stuff like this V chain I wouldn't pay for it I, I would assume that this is the standard the industry proposes and and actually uses but I wouldn't pay a damn dollar for it to actually to make that actually happen okay now another thing is all those blockchains with smart contracts it has been hyped. Ethereum, I think ADA, Cardano, I don't know, um, are as well blockchains for smart contracts. Honestly, I do still today not understand why anyone would pay $1500 for a coin where a particular smart contract is stored. The smart con I mean if the smart contract is I pay my brother fifteen hundred dollars in two years why would you pay for that fifteen hundred bucks I mean even in two years it would be me who is paying my not you would receive that that uh, that amount of money the smart contract as such is not being changed so I really don't see why I would would need to pay for that I never could understand that okay now with XRP the whole thing is a totally different story and that's basically the reason why I'm why I when I read about the XRP I stuck with XRP because I saw the use case the potential behind it actually moving value moving money and that's where the where the price of of XRP will come from. That's a total different beast. On the other hand, when we look at all those other 
digital assets of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, etc. Why would I? Why? I, I really don't see a reason. Okay, maybe the, the doubters, the guys believing in, in uh, those uh, theories. Uh, what's the name? I forgot the name. Conspiration theories. When they think that the banks will in one time in the future take away the money from us. Those believing that for those ones cryptocurrencies may be fine. I totally trust the money I have in my bank. I think I'm in a safe bank, a bank which is partially regulated by the by the state I'm living in, Canton Aargau. And they they have to follow certain rules. They cannot they cannot basically do too much speculation and stuff like that. So there my money is safe. So I don't have that fear that my money will be blocked or taken away by the bank anytime in the future. So for that reason I also don't see any any really use case for any of these other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin etc. And even if there would be use case on those ones, I don't see why the price would increase, why it's not stable. Okay, and with that, um, I wish you a nice Sunday evening and a good start into the next week. Thanks and goodbye.